Greetings, so the next album review we've got for you is the new Graham Bonnet album, which is released on Frontier Records. It's called A Day Out in Nowhere, which is a really cool album. Now we all know that Graham's a legend. His first career, big career break, was with Rainbow, Richie Blackmore, Cosie Powell. Fantastic band. As we all know that Graham Bonnet replaced Ronnie James Dio, went on to join Black Sabbath, and later on after that did his own solo career. So Graham's been around for many, many years. A very powerful singer, as we know. He's been had some really good success. Not only has he had success with Rainbow, he also had success with Michael Schenker Group, also with Impelitary Band, a fantastic album Standing Land, which was released on Relativity Combat back in the 80s, a great album for Graham Bonnet and also for Chris Impelitary. Now we all know Graham Bonnet's success with Rainbow were two classic songs, a lot of chat success as well as touring success. Songs like All Night Long, and also since you've been gone not only has graham had success with rainbow and michael Schenker, he was also involved with alcatraz which had some really good guitar players as we all know the original guitarist ingve Mamstein, then was replaced by steve i who later on joined the dave lee roth band it's also good to know that graham's done a lot of projects as well i mean he's been involved with a band called force field now if I correct me if i'm wrong tony martin was also involved with that project as well Graham's also been involved with the Japanese band Anthem that was still going strong back in the day. He did something with the band between 2000 and 2001. Now, if you've ever seen Graham Bonnet live, you'll know just how much of a powerful singer he is. I managed to catch him live on his own solo career, and I also saw him on the Michael Schenker Fest, which was a couple of years ago with some fantastic singers like Robin McCauley and also Gary Barlow on vocals as well. It was a fantastic tour to see some great singers on stage with Michael Schenker. So Graham's done his own solo career for many years, as we all know since the party with Rainbow and Michael Schenker. This is his new album, like I said, just come out on Frontier Records and features some fantastic musicians, as well as a lot of guest musicians, which we're going to talk about very shortly. So the main musicians on this album, is only three musicians, we've got Graham Bonnet and vocals, and also guitarist Conrado Pestinato, bass player, who's also been with them for many times, is Beth Amy Evan Stern. Now, the, the guest musicians on this album, we've got on keyboards, we've got Alexander Pertino, we've got drums, Levy Ducos, also on drums, we've got Shane Gallagher. Now, Shane, as we know, has been involved with Ingve Malmsteen and many other great musicians. We've also got on guitar, acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar, we've got Atakadino Ozaki on acoustic guitar. Also on drums on this album, we've got John Tempesta. I'm pretty sure John Tempesto was involved with White Zombie and also Testament. I could be wrong, could be a different guy. Also on, on guitar, we've got Mike Tempesta. Uh, also on guitars as well, we've got Roy Z, as we all know, is a great producer. Also involved with the Halford Band. Great producer is wet with Bruce Dickinson, as well as Judas Priest and other artists. Also on guitar, we've got a good friend of mine who's been in Nevermore. We've got Jeff Loomis, is now also playing guitar for Arch Enemy. So Jeff is a fantastic guitarist, great shredder, plays in some heavy bands. And it's really good to see Jeff playing on this album. Interesting to see what he comes up with, as you'll hear for yourself. So on this album, we've got 11 songs. Like I say, it's a really, really good album, featuring some great musicians. The first song is called Imposer, which is a really cool song. Second song, we've got 12 Steps to Heaven which is another catchy song. It's kind of old school rainbow, but with a modern touch. As we know, Graham really does belt out this album with his vocals. Very strong singer. So next we've got Brave New World, featuring Roy Z, Uncle John. We've also got a song called Day Out to Nowhere, which is the title track. Really catchy song. I'm just running through to you now the songs, and then we're going to go through them in a little bit more in depth. So these are the song titles on the album. So we've also got a Sky, The Sky is Alive, David's Mum, when We're Asleep, featuring Mike and John Tapesta. And then we've got It's a, Just a Friggin' Song, featuring Don Airy on keyboards. We've also got on a song called Just a Friggin' Song, which features Don Airy on keyboards. Now we all know Don was involved with Ozzy Osbourne, as well as other great artists. Next song is called The Jester. This features Jeff Loomis on guitar. And the last song is called Susie, which is an orchestra song. So it's a really good album. I'm going to talk about the songs very briefly in depth now. So the first song, like I said, is called Imposer. This kind of has that UFO, rainbow, deep purple vibe with a bit of Impelitary. For some reason, it just reminds me of the Impelitary album, the way that Graham produced his strong vocals on this album. So it's a really catchy song. It's got that 70s, 80s vibe in it with a bit of a modern touch. 
Catchy song, great melodies, great vocals, well worth checking out. So the next song, 12 Steps to Heaven. That kind of has the impeditary vibe again. It also has vibes of Alcatraz, Graham's previous band. So you get that Ingve Malmsteen, Steve Vai sort of vibe in there. And Chris Impeditari all in one. So yeah, it's got a great song. Great catchy song. Like the next song, Brave New World, to me has the old school Alcatraz. A little bit of a new modern style Alcatraz, even though Graham's not trying to copy what he's done in the past. But it's hard to get rid of the past when you've been in such great successful bands. So this is a really good song and it's called Brave New World. Catchy. Some real good vocals here by Graham. He's one of the best singers out there in rock. You know, probably gets underrated. But he's definitely got a strong voice live. And if you've seen him live, you'll know exactly what I mean. Now the next song, Uncle John. Strange name for a song title. It'll be interesting to know what the story is behind this song. This song really has a deep purple vibe to it. And a little bit of White Snake. It's definitely got the organs from the 70s. So a lot of deep purple vibe in this. But it's a really good song. Really well worth checking out. Next song is the title track, Day Out to Nowhere. Which is a pretty good song. It's not probably the best song on the album. It's not as packing a punch, you know, it's better bit laid back, but it is a pretty good song. I mean, Graham doesn't really belt out on this song, but it is a good for what it is. But like I say, it's not for me the strongest song on the album, but still pretty good song. Now the next song, The Sky Is Alive. This is a little bit better than the last song. It's getting back to the songs I've talked about already. So it's a bit more up-tempo, catchy like I say again. Some really good melodies in there, catchy riffs, great music and all around great song. Now the next song on the album is called David's Mum. Like I say, another strange title. There must be an interesting story behind it. This is a little bit like the title track, a little bit more laid back. It's okay, it doesn't really pick up that much, but it's a pretty good song, but the rest of the album has more balls behind it, more character, but this is like a pretty much laid back song. It's still good, don't get me wrong, but it's not quite as good as I thought it would be. Next up is a song, When We're Asleep. This features Mike and John Tempesta. It's a really good song. It's a little bit more uplifting. Not a real heavy song, but it's more catchy than most of the songs on the album. Like I say, Graham's putting a lot of effort into this album. Production-wise, it's fantastic. Really solid album, and this is a pretty good song. Really well worth checking out. So, the next song features my friend Jeff Loomis. This song's called Jester. This has got a bit of a balls behind it, because obviously, I mean, Jeff's going to be playing some really good shredding guitar in. And he does. He really does prove to himself how much of a great guitarist he is outside of the shredding and playing fast stuff. So, Graham has made a wise choice there getting Jeff involved. Now, I think Jeff has also been involved with some live in performances with Graham Bonnet. So, this song is a really catchy song, really well worth checking out. It's also good to remark to say that the, the song Jester also has a lot of impeditary in there. So, yeah. Jeff Loomis is the wisest choice for this song. It takes you back to the Imperatory album, Standing Line. Great song. Well done, Jeff. Now, the last song is called Susie, which is an orchestral part. It's only Graham and keyboard sync on this song. So there's no really music on it whatsoever. It's just Graham performing at his best. Powerful vocals, beautiful melodies. Graham has a lot of emotion on this song. Really well put together. Graham's done a fantastic song. So the song's called Susie, and it's probably much like an outro for the album. But yeah, great song. So I'm going to give this album 4 out of 5. It's a good album. It's varied. Like I can see it's got the deep purple, the white snake vibe. But it's also got the Alcatraz and also the Impeditary. So if you like a mixture of hard rock with a bit of balls behind it, then this is the album for you. So check it out. The album is released on Frontier Records. Fantastic album by Graham Bonnet. 